Look at, do you see that when you push down gently? Oh my gosh, they're perfect. Look at that, oh, it's crazy. Why is my voice so high? I usually like to use more words than an intro, but today I only have two, and they are butter burger. Okay, so sue me, it was three. Of course, you can't just take a stick of butter and shape it into a burger and cook it. No, it's not gonna work. But what is gonna work is taking that butter and turning it into a compound butter, adding things to it, then refrigerating it, and then when it's time to make a burger, you slice a disc of it, you put it inside the burger, you cook that on the flat top, and then it goes into the bun, and why am I yelling? Maybe because I'm excited about this. Because once you've made compound butter, you can use that shit for everything, and I will get into that more later, but right now, let's make the one we're using. It's an herb one. Ready? Here we go. Look, clearly softened butter. That's where you want to start. And to our softened butter, we're going to add the following herbs. You can put anything in you want. Here's a suggestion. I'm going with uh, finely chopped parsley in, finely chopped cilantro in, and rosemary chopped up. Just pulled off the stems and chopped up. It's perfect. It's a great start. Of course, to that, we're also going to add some red pepper flake. Look, I'm not trying to make it really spicy. I'm just trying to give it a little extra flavor. We're going to give it a giant clove of garlic in, like that. A big pinch of salt and pepper, and we mix. Really well. So when it's all mixed, like no giant pockets of yellow anymore, we're going to do this. We're going to take some wax paper, we're going to spread out a little piece. Then we take our butter and we drop it right in the middle. And now it's simple. Now we're going to fold over, spread out a little bit, fold again, again, and again. And now this side we turn this way, and this side we turn this way. And look what you have. You have a, you have this gorgeous little bundle like this that's tight. We take this, we put it in the fridge. Let me tell you what makes compound butter so good. Of course, you can use it in a uh, burger like we're going to. The burger's gonna cook, the butter inside will melt, it'll make it juicy, flavorful, delicious. That's a given. Cook a steak, take it off the grill, take it out of the uh, oven, off the smoker. You wanna let it rest a good 10 minutes or so before you eat it, you slice a piece of compound butter, it sits on top. It melts down in the crevices, makes everything better piece of chicken comes off the grill while you're waiting for the salad and everything else to get ready, compound butter. Compound butter, compound butter, compound butter. Making some eggs on a Sunday morning for a bunch of friends. Got them scrambled, you go to put some regular butter in the pan. No, nope. I remember, in my fridge is compound butter that Sam told me to make. It's already flavored, it's got everything in it. There's no thinking involved. There's cutting and panning and then you're done. And of course, panning is a technical term that means putting something in a pan and letting it melt. So you want to make compound butter. And by the way, make any kind. I make some with chipotle chilies chopped up and inside. You can put little bits of goat cheese in the compound butter. You can do anything you want. The only limitations you have are right up in there. And while I'm on the butter, just let me tell you I'm a fan of good European butter. I found good European butter a couple of years ago. Up to that point, I would buy whatever butter was on sale. It was pale yellow, and it was fine. It was merely a lubricant, which if you want a lubricant, that's great. But if you can spend a little more, especially if you buy good butter on sale, really good butter makes all the difference in the world. There, I've done enough preaching. Let's talk burgers. Look what I have in front of me, Max. I have just slightly more than a pound of ground beef. Let me take that back. I have half a pound of ground beef mixed with half a pound of brisket. And by the way, I ground it myself. And just let me say that I had this frozen in my freezer, so if it's not as pink as it should be, you know, don't give me crap for that. It's going to be amazing. 
but the combination of beef and brisket is unbelievable. We've made a burger with it before. It really is like steak cooking. It's just super beefy concentration of flavors and stuff. So it must be left over from the 50-50 burger. I think it was left over from the 50-50 burger. So we're going to deal with this simply because remember, a lot of the flavor is going to come from the compound butter, salt and pepper. I know it looks like a lot, but there's a lot of beef here. Then we're going to mix this and we're going to try and be gentle. We don't want to over mix. We want the burger here. Let me, can I, can I do this for a sec? When there's gaps in between the juices run in between, it stays juicier. It stays better. If it's a hard, solid clump of like concrete, then you don't get as nearly a juicy a burger. So you want to try and handle it as little as possible. Of course, we have to shape it into patties and we're going to do that now. But at this point, I'm going to be gentle. And when you're confident, you're mixed nicely. Let's get some uh, wax paper out. Our scale. Hey, and we'll go a third of a pound. See how close I am. 0.324. Let's go 0.33, shall we? There we go. So this, I'm not going to do too much with yet, except this. We'll pull it together, set it down, make a little indentation, and do two more. Same. And I know you know, Max, what's going in that indentation. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go to the fridge. I'll be right back. There you go, that's what it looks like. It's hard. So we unwrap, we open carefully, and voila, look at that little gorgeous freaking tube of deliciousness. Now we have one goal cut some discs. Just let me cut this little end piece off. I'm going to go like that. What is that, like a quarter of an inch? There you go. And that's what you want. See all that great looking stuff in there? That's what this is about. Cilantro, parsley, there's garlic, little red pepper flakes. That's magic. That's magic. So I didn't mean to say so. Please take it out. Now we're going to do this. And this is simple. We take a disc, a gorgeous disc. We push it down. God, I hope it's not too big. Now I'm going to gather this up in my hand and start to enclose the burger around it. Oh, dear Lord. Do anybody have any idea what's going to go on here? Apart from it probably melting all over the grill. Okay. Just continue. Another one goes in. Pick that up. Push down gently and start to enclose. Close, close, close. Shape, shape, shape. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, not yet. I mean, they're not pretty yet, but just you wait and see what happens. So we're going to do a fairly simple everything else. You know, some tomato, some lettuce. And then the last guy, same thing. Oh my gosh. This, folks, is going to be spectacular. Oh my goodness. Okay, we all set? You know what we have to do now, Maxi Boy? Now we cook. All right, when your grill or your flat top or whatever you're cooking on is ready, we put down a little oil, coarse avocado oil, give it a little spread. And down they go. I like to give them a gentle little pat. It's quite fatherly. Good job. Good job. Good job. So we're probably looking, you know, three to four to five minutes aside. We want to keep them. I mean, I want to keep them kind of medium rare. You can cook them all the way through to completely ruined if you want, but you might want to rethink that strategy. I'll have medium ruined. Please. <laughs> Sorry. Medium ruined. <laughs> it's time to turn. 
See the, that crust? That, that is what gives you what you want. And that's flavor. And by the way, I'm giving them just a gentle little pat. I'm not squeezing them down. When you squeeze them down, you squeeze out the juices and you don't want to do that. And if there was ever any doubt about what's inside, look at that kid. Look at that little pool right there. That's insane. Okay, it's cheese time. On we go. Big piece of Monterey Jack. Flat. And we're almost there. So we'll let these guys come off. And they'll finish a bit. Now I can get our buns ready while they rest. So I have a little butter left from the pepperoni pizza episode. We just finished shooting. So I'm going to use this to prep my buns. I mean, why not? Talk about extra flavor and it being right here and I don't need to get it ready. So on they go. We'll do it for all of these. And the buns are not going to take very long, that's for sure. And these first guys are probably almost ready. Perfect. All right, let's go. I don't like it when I know, I know, I know. This, this I know. For the episodes I know. I just, figure, but I don't want them to so burn. Figure out some sort of solution. Okay, then, okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. Keep stop talking about it then. I don't know why that's such a terrible thing. Fishing is never good. Okay, all right. That's it. Okay, 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 okay. I'll let things burn. Then. All right, so you know I'm going to be using Japanese mayonnaise for sure. Like that. Crispy iceberg lettuce. Some beautiful tomato. One of our burgers. And... Okay, now it might not look like the most exciting burger in the world, but I am assuring you that what's going on inside, in terms of flavor, is going to be insane. Only the thing left to do is cut and eat. And inside is gorgeous. Look at, do you see that when you push down gently? Oh my gosh. They're perfect. Look at that. It's, oh, it's crazy. Why is my voice so high? That is butter. That is garlic. That is herb. That is seasoning. That is flavor. I just gleeked. You know what that is? How do you describe gleeking? So, squeeze, little squeeze, little squeeze, little squeeze, little squeeze. It's all so juicy. So juicy. But the real test is this. Oh, f the herbs, the beef, that half brisket nonsense is ridiculous. Well, the real thing. How juicy that, that patty is because of the butter. So you don't eat it every day. But oh my gosh, that is tremendous. So one more thing you put on your list you have to make. And look at summer. So you're making burgers anyways. Am I right? Thank you for everything. That's all I got. Thank you for everything. Mm-hmm.